Cash Clearer allows you to clear app cash directly from the settings app. If you have Ryan Petrich's beta repo added to your Cydia app, then you no doubt noticed a new jailbreak tweak that appeared called Cash Clearer. And what this does is it allow you to allows you to clear app caches from the usage section in the stock settings app. So this tweak really integrates directly into iOS and it feels really native. Uh, so I'm going to show you how this works. The first thing you want to do is after installation, go into the settings app, go to your general section, go to your usage section, and then go to manage storage. And this will basically generate a list of all the apps that you have that are taking up storage on your device. So you can see I have quite a few apps here. Now I'm going to target one that's really easy to demonstrate using uh, this jailbreak tweak. And that is, of course, Instagram, because that takes up a lot of cash because there's tons of photos and videos and, uh, you know, who knows what else out there that is stored in the cash. And this is Instagram. So we just tap on Instagram here. And now you see two new buttons, basically. The delete app button is always there. Uh, you can do that without cash clear. But this new tweak puts two new buttons there. You have a reset app, and then you have clear apps cache. So you can basically reset the app to defaults like you just installed it, or you can clear the cache. Now notice how much storage is being used by Instagram. You see 19.6 megabytes. And then you see documents and data, 376 kilobytes. All right, so watch what happens. I've already cleared the cache for Instagram. I'm going to launch Instagram now. And I'm going to go to my uh, alternate account. Okay, and here's my alternate account here. And you can see that, you know, I have lots of videos and photos and things like that. So, um, quite a few, you know, different items in this uh, Instagram app that I have here. Uh, so you can see some photos that I posted. I don't really post too much on Instagram, especially lately, uh, but it's kind of nice to go back and look at some of my old photos from time to time and look at photos of friends and things like that. So I've loaded this up. So obviously some, some items have, are being stored in the cache because I've loaded this up. So I'm going to go out of this and go back to the settings app. And now we're going to look at Instagram again and see where it is on this list. So you can see it's gone up a little bit, 27.8 megabytes and 8.5 megabytes of documents and data. So it's a, you know, incremental increase. Now I'm going to load up my, um, one of my default accounts or my personal account. I'm not going to show this on video, but I'm going to load up my personal account here, which has tons <laughs> of uh, videos and stuff, and it should really boost the cash up a lot. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I did that now. So let's go back and look and see if those numbers are, are boosted at all, which they should be, uh, because you know I went and looked at tons of different photos and videos and stuff. So let's see where Instagram falls now. Let's see if it's any higher. Okay, so you can see it's quite a bit higher. Um, still not as high as I thought it would be, but I, again, I only used it for a few seconds. And you could see 40.7 megabytes and now 21.4 megabytes of documents and data. Now, I'm going to clear the app's cache just by tapping clear app's cache. And it's going to take a second. Okay, now it says I've reclaimed a lot of bytes, basically. Um, so, you know, about 22 megabytes, I guess you could say, of space, uh, give or take a few. Uh, I think that's about right. Let's see, carry the, let's see, the, yeah, about 22 megabytes of space, give or take a few megabytes. Okay. All right. So I go tap. Okay. There, go back out, go out. Then I go back in and we'll see what Instagram says now. So it should be near the bottom and it is 19.7 now instead of 40 and 456 kilobytes instead of eight. 0.5, I believe, megabytes. So you can see it really does reduce the amount of data used by the Instagram app. And of course, this applies to all apps that use the cache. And if I use the reset app function, let me show you how that works here. I'm going to open up the uh, Nest app on my home screen. And of course, I'm, I'm logged into the Nest app now. And you can see um, 74 degrees in the house. But watch what happens if I use the new reset app function. Go back out, manage storage. Let's find the Nest app. It should be near the bottom. Well, somewhat near the bottom. There we go. There's Nest. Okay. So now I'm going to reset the app. 
So not only will that clear the cache, but it also restored the app to a fresh state. So that'll log me out of anything that I'm logged into, etc. So now I'm going to open up the Nest app. And bam, so it's asking me to log in now uh, because I reset the app. So it's basically like doing a fresh install for that app. So there's more than meets the eye with cash cleaner or cash clearer. And it's hard to say cash clearer, uh, but it's a really cool new jailbreak tweak from Ryan Petrich. Uh, we'll have the beta repo in the description of this post. Uh, but at this point, I do recommend it because not only does it seem native, but it actually provides some really useful functionality. If you have a lot of cash or you just want to reset your apps, uh, you want to clear up some space. If you don't have a, a large device, like a 64 gigabyte device like I do, maybe you're rocking a 16 or hopefully not, but maybe you're rocking an 8 gigabyte device. Well, cash clear can come in handy to clear up the app cache and give you some free space. So folks, let me know what you guys think about cash clear down in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.